Hi Libra, welcome to your love reading. This is for Libra, Summer and Isaac Venus. We'll be taking a look to see what messages can come through for you regarding your love life. Get some insight, wisdom, guidance, and overall see what's going on for you. I hope that you're doing well. If you want to follow me over on my Instagram and TikTok, you can find me there at Jade Stone Tarot. And if you want to book a private reading with me, the information for that's in the description box down below. Let's get into this reading and see what messages need to come through for you regarding your love life in the month of June for Libra, Summerizing Venus. Tell me clearly what's going on for Libra in love. Messages for Libra, Summerizing Venus regarding love. Show me clearly what's going on. What are the love messages for Libra? What do my Libras need to know? Revolving love. <laughs> messages for Libra. We have the Two of Wands reversed. Messages for Libra, Summerizing Venus for the month of June 2022. I'm not taking that. Messages for Libra. We also have the Ten of Wands. Six of Cups, Two of Pentacles uh, reversed with the Son of Pentacles. And give me one more for Libra in love. Messages for Libra in love. All right, Hangman and the Nine of Swords. Okay. Piscean energy coming out. We also have Virgo energy with the Hermit, the World Reverse, and the Fool. So energy I'm picking up for you, Libra, is that there is this cycle. There's a cycle that keeps on repeating here. Um, this is bringing up your past. So you might actually be dealing with a past situation, or you could be dealing with someone from your past or someone you have history with. Maybe it's someone that you're struggling with moving on from, and it is quite a burden. It is really weighing heavy on you. Ten of Wands. There's a lot of stress. There's a lot of overthinking feeling just overwhelmed and like you're stuck or you don't know how to move on from some sort of situation from your past there's a bit of resistance when it comes to moving forward or um stepping in a new direction there's a lot that you're reflecting on here we have the hermit and the hangman so you're trying to get insight you're trying to get clarity on the situation or looking at it from a different perspective um but there seems to be a lot of mental clutter when it comes to reviewing this situation, when it comes to your emotions and how you feel, what you think about this situation, this person. Um, there's a lot of clutter. There's a lot of just feeling overwhelmed and like there's a lot that doesn't really make sense. <laughs> Yeah, and then we have the Two of Pentacles reverse. This is resistance to change. You see that this is the butterfly in this card, right? Butterfly is all about change, transformation, and when it's coming out reverse, it, indica it indicates to me that there is this resistance to letting go. Um, it's almost like you're wanting to go back or return to something, even if you know like it's not good for you or that you should move on. Like There's this struggle with like letting something go it's something that you've been focusing on with the son of pentacles you've been really focused on a situation like that you can't change right um that's another way i could read this is like you're focusing on um a situation or a person what the hell was that <laughs> i don't know what the fuck weird ass sounds okay um it seems like you've been focusing on a past situation that you can't change the outcome you can't change how ha how things happen so i'm assuming you experience some sort of ending right there's separation between you and another person um you may feel like there's unfinished business here with the world reversed and that's preventing you from moving forward or taking a new leap in a new direction in your life almost like you don't want to move on in case the possibility of it coming back or like i'm just throwing this out there this scenario out there but it's like if you were to move on with your life or um let's say that yeah this is your love reading i keep forgetting <laughs> it was like this is like a general reading as i know that's your love reading um so it's like let's say that you decide that you're gonna start dating again or um you get into a committed to committed relationship you might be fearful of like what if i get into a committed relationship and this person from the past comes back what am i gonna do do i go back to them am i truly over them like there's this hesitation to move on because some of you haven't fully moved on from this person from your past and it just seems like it's on your mind a lot and um there's a lot that you are still trying to get clarity on but yeah there's a sense of resistance to change even with the two of wands reverses like there could be like there's a choice that you're indecisive about the choice about leaving this behind um 
yeah what else am i getting here yeah it just seems like there's a situation where you feel like there's unfinished business there's lack of closure lack of answers even you're waiting on an apology for some of you and it's like the longer you wait the more anxious the more restless that you get and yeah it's just been like a main focus for you in the month of june this person is on your mind heavily whether you want them to or not they seem to be occupying a lot a lot of space in your mind in your heart as well you may still have like a soft spot for this person um they may have meant a lot to you shaped you who you are today you learned a lot from them <sighs> you know you there's still the energy of like treasuring memories that you experience with this individual but yeah it just seems like you can't change the situation um you might try to like look back at what happened and be like if i said this if i could have done this maybe things would be different maybe we could have avoided this ending maybe we would still be together you're you know spinning up all these scenarios of the possibilities of what things could have been right but the reality is that isn't what it is the reality is what it is right here and it's kind of like seeing it for what it is you get me so but right now it's kind of hard to see it for what it is because there's just like a lot of mental clutter um we also have aries and aquarius energy out here I forgot to mention that it's like part of you wants to move on and part of you doesn't want to when we look at the fool one of you see this little bird on the branch one of the one of his feet is grabbing on tightly to this branch like i'm not ready to let go and the other foot is like open and ready to take the leap he's only standing on one foot so it's like you're kind of like that's probably going back to the choice the two of wands two of two of wands two of pentacles it's like the choice of do i let this go or do i hold on to this there's this struggle there's this internal struggle of like um should i stay or should i go but sooner or later you're gonna have to make a choice right sooner or later so that's the vibe i'm picking up on so this is the group i'm picking up on is like there's a situation there's a person from your past that you are having a difficult time letting go um and it's weighing heavily on your mind so let's dig deeper let's get some more insight as to oops didn't mean to move my table let's get some insight um get a little bit more detail figure out how you can move out of this energy um so yeah let's take a look into the six effects. give us a little bit of clarity so when it when it comes to this this person from your past what is it that you're like reflecting on or looking back on or like the past is coming up for a reason and now maybe this is tying into mercury retrograde which we had that going on for the last few weeks mercury goes direct very soon in just a couple days and then we have like the post shadow which dies out for the next couple weeks but so we're still in that mercury retrograde energy of reflecting and looking back at past relationships and stuff like that um so kind of ties in with that but yeah tell me about the six of cups for libra summer and venus regarding their love life okay okay devil reverse with the six of pentacles reverse chariot and the ace of wands five of swords wheel of For fortune reverse and the five of cups yeah like there's disappointment with how things happen it seems like you had a lot of love a lot of passion for this person there's a strong connection that you had that you shared with this individual it almost seems like since we're clarifying this past energy it seems like things things are very passionate and when they were good they were really good and when they were crap they were really crap um and I gotta say, this this connection seems like it was very flighty. Like, maybe for some, this was someone that you were hooking up with. Maybe it wasn't like a committed relationship, but this is some kind of fling or situationship, friends with benefits or something like that. And maybe you were hoping that there's deeper feelings there. Maybe that was the case. Maybe that wasn't. Maybe someone has commitment issues. Just saying. Um, we do have cancer and energy out here as well as fire. But um, this just seems like it was very flighty. It came in quick as well as left your life quick. It was in and out very quick. And so it's telling me that this situation from your past, it wasn't stable. It wasn't stable. And then we even have these six of pentacles reverse, indicating that there was lack of 
balance in this connection you may have been giving more to this person or vice versa they were giving more to you but i feel like it's like you were giving more or you had more had more emotions more attraction more desire love for this person than maybe you receive there is definitely an imbalance in relationships like the the emotions you shared with this individual didn't seem to be mutual you had hoped that they were mutual but it seems like it wasn't um and so there was a big disappointment that you had experienced with this devil reversed um i see that as you're looking back at this relationship and these experiences that you had you're realizing that this was negative you're you're seeing that this was a toxic situation and you're free from it now or for them no you're not free from it because it's still occupying your mind and we still have the devil out here it's reverse indicating that you're no longer in it but it's still affecting you right this is capricorn energy some of you could be dealing with a capricorn and what's funny is we have cancer energy capricorn energy complete opposite signs right which are also square to you because you're another um cardinal sign right this is all cardinal energy so i'm just saying Whew, there's like that opposition though so it's like push pull some of you were dealing with a relationship that was push pull push pull when or like cat and mouse i think i was saying that to pisces in a reading like a last love reading i did last love reading set that i did um for like the last month i think so maybe you're dealing with a situation that was very push pull um when they want you you don't want them and then when you want them they don't want you like again just like the lack of reciprocating the same emotions or the same passion the same desire um and then like again at the bottom we have the five of swords wheel of fortune reverse and the five of cups just feeling disappointment feeling massive disappointment with how things have happened feeling stuck with the wheel of fortune reverse there's no movement no development in this connection and you know there could have also been something to do with like self-sabotage or getting in your own way or like holding yourself back or something to do with someone's pride someone was maybe very prideful or egotistical or like wanted you to fight for them or something or like something like that all right so that's the vibe i feel from that so and then underneath that we have the four of pentacles representing holding on right so this two of pentacles reverse right that's about resisting change resisting the change or should we let's look into let's look into the world reverse because for some you feel like there's unfinished business with this person wheel of fortune reverse for libra summer rising venus in the month of june 2022 yeah there's still like unfinished business here whether the business gets finished or not it feels like there's a lot of questions that you have wheel of fortune re oh sorry the world reverse for yeah, did I say the Wheel of Fortune? I'm so sorry. This is the world reverse. I think I said that a couple times. Tell me about the world reverse for Libra, Summer and Isaac Venus for the month of June regarding this situation. Ten of Pentacles. For some, you lived with this person. Five of Pentacles reverse and the Empress. Could be family related to family. Father of Swords reverse and the Three of Swords along with the two of cups and the four of wands yeah so there is a big 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 um betrayal in a committed relationship i'm getting major committed relationship two of cups and the four of wands that's all about foundations and partnerships and within that par partnership foundation there is a big betrayal a big heartbreak um well okay maybe not a betrayal necessarily because i mean there's just a lot of pain, a lot of pain, a lot of hurt, a lot of heartbreak that happened in this in this connection. OK, and it seems like there's a loss. You definitely experienced some sort of loss here. And we've sh we've seen a lot of fives in this reading. Five, 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 five is the number of change. So we have the Ten of Pentacles to then the Five of Pentacles reverse. Suffering from some sort of loss in a foundation or, like I said, in this partnership, this relationship. Um, 
which is too bad because it seemed like it was going really well. We have the Empress out here. There was lots of room for growth. There's lots of expansion. There was so much potential that this relationship held. You know, you may have invested a lot of time and energy into this. And then for some reason, whatever happened, this heart, this hurt, this heartbreak, whatever occurred, it was extremely devastating. And then we have the King of Wands, or sorry, King of father of swords reverse like you're you're just heartbroken you're devastated it's almost like your emotions are frozen and you don't know what to feel and you're just you're shocked and angry and like you may have felt lied to or used or disrespected in some sort of way and so now it's like your emotions have gone cold your emotions have gone cold and you're just like left wondering like why why would you do this um you know some of you have family you have kids you live with this person you have a home um you have so much that you've built with this person and for them to just turn around and and do this to you or for you know it just it just it just you just feel so done wrong and you just want to know why or you just want to have answers you just want to have clarity like why would you do this to me like that's just the energy i'm picking up on there's a lot of like secrets when we look at the empress there's this lunar energy in this card it's like what's hidden there's something that's hidden yeah ow pretty painful stuff so it makes sense why you're having a hard time accepting this or letting this go it's 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 you just don't understand it you just don't understand it nothing makes sense you try to pit, put all together the the puzzle pieces and like you think about what happened and you know you look back at some things and it, it just doesn't make any sense right it just doesn't make any sense the nine of swords and it just you're questioning yourself you're questioning the truth you're questioning what was the truth what who like <laughs> i don't i don't even have the words for it you guys um yeah, and so there's like this reflection energy, right? And as you're trying to reflect on it, you're just like so lost with like, what's the truth here? So Hangman, Nine of Swords, and the Hermit. I'm going to clarify these cards kind of like as a group because I feel like these three cards kind of fit together. And like I said, with the Son of Pentacles, this has been your main focus in the month of June when it comes to your love life or relationships. It seems like this is weighing heavily on your heart. Um... <clears throat> This is something that's going to take, I would say, some time for you to move on from. It seems like it's very slow. It's like you moving on from this seems like it's a really slow journey. Be patient with yourself. Be kind. Be compassionate. Be gentle to yourself. Talk about the hangman, nine of swords, and the hermit. Tell me about this combination. Hangman, nine of swords, and the hermit for Libra, Summer Nising Venus. Clarify. The hangman, nine of swords, and the hermit regarding Vir Libra's, I want to call you Virgo, Libra's love life. Hangman, nine of swords, and the hermit for Libra. Is this upside down? It is. Okay. Can you clarify this combination for me for Libra in the month of June regarding love? Nine of cups and the mother of pentacles. Clarify this for me, please. We got a flyer, seven of cups. Yeah, you like okay. Let's just let's just go off these three cards and we'll pull some more. Ten of swords at the bottom. So like this is you, mother of pentacles. Yeah, this is a very loving, very healing, very nurturing energy. You know, you gave a lot of love to this person. You made like I said, for some of you, you have children with this person, right? This is the energy of being a mother, um, being very nurturing and healing and loving. And we have the nine of cups that goes along with it. And so it's just like everything seemed perfect. Everything seemed like everything seemed like it was going great. And then all of a sudden something happened this person left like for some i'm just got the the storyline it just came to me like everything was going great everything seemed amazing you guys are on the same page and then one day they pack their bags and they leave or they ghost me or they just they disappear without any explanation right for some and like you're left just so confused like why feeling so hurt so betrayed and just feeling rejected oh my gosh <gasps> yo oh ah i'm so sorry i'm getting like goosebumps here so we go from the ten of swords so there's this ending big betrayal 
feeling so hurt so done wrong you've given your heart you've poured so much energy so much love into this and it feels like someone just abandoned left left you behind and so we go the ten of swords the four of cups feeling this rejected feeling like is it me questioning your own worth <sighs> big big loss focusing on what was lost right what was lost you ask well ten of cups you lost something that meant meant mattered so much to you it made you really happy again the happy home happy life happy wife husband with the kids dog hat home maybe it wasn't anything like that but again this is something that brought a lot of fulfillment and you seem like it, it was going great right and then for this to all suddenly come to an end out of nowhere you're devastated you're so devastated it seems like five of cups and then the two of cups under that you're devastated by this relationship because you thought you guys were on the same page <sighs> oh my god i feel so heavy and like even in my throat it just feels really tight you know like when you cry or like you're about to cry and like your throat just gets super tight like that's um like choked up that's what i feel from this oh libra i'm sending you so much love this is really heavy. I'm just gonna kind of cleanse a little bit the vibes. But yeah, there's so much confusion. So this is what you're reflecting on because they're, they're just it doesn't make any sense. Like, like oh my god, I I mean it doesn't make sense to me either. Like why would they? Why? Why would they do this? <sighs> it's fucking hard. Brutal ruthless some people um okay so anyways yeah you're feeling very burdened by this so i guess let's just take a look into the fool this new energy um that you'll be stepping into there's there's new energy let's let's look into the fool and then we're gonna wrap this up libra but oh man this is a tough one tell me about the fool for libra sun moon rising venus for the month of june 2022 regarding love tell me about the fool for libra summer rising venus for the month of june regarding love tell me about the fool for libra summer rising venus we have the um eight of swords you're being prepared for something prepared for the next oh Two of Cups, Judgment, and the Sun, along with Magician Reversed. Well, this fell on the ground, so honestly, I don't know if it came out reversed or not. To be honest, I want to put this in the deck, and if it's meant to come out, it will. I'm just get a couple more cards for this. It seems like you're going to be... Whoa, what the hell? I was hearing loud-ass sounds. I think that was my dog, to be honest. It seems like you're really rising like the phoenix, to be honest. Not to be all, like, poetic and shit, but um, you're transforming massively. Like, what's next for you, Libra? Um, your whole life is going to change. Your whole life is transforming. Although right now it's extremely fucking painful, confusing, heart-wrenching. Your whole life is about to change um, for the better. Although it's hard to see that right now. I promise you with time you'll look back at this and like your whole life is going to be completely different you're going to be so much better so much happier and like just have have trust in that have trust in that it's hard to see that right now but it's there so we have the seven or sorry eight of swords coming out you're in this you're in this transition of major major change and transformation personal growth personal transformation taking place major healing is taking place and you're you're heading into this new holy fuck my dog upstairs is being so loud you're, you're stepping into this new journey this new chapter of your life and although like i said although right now it's extremely painful um there's gonna be a balance there's always a balance of energy so if you experience something negative something positive will come out that's on like the same level right what you put out is what you get um just says what goes up must come down what goes down must come up 
when you look at a fucking science equation, <laughs> a math equation, what you do to one side, you got to do the opposite to the other. There's always going to be a balance and you guys are the scales. There's going to be balance right now. It's hard to see that. It's hard to, to understand. But so this loss that you've gone through, this pain that you're going through, it's so fucking deep and horrible, like rock bottom. Keep in mind and hold hold faith to this hold trust in this that this loss you're gonna have something really 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 fucking good that's gonna be on the opposite side of this loss so you hit rock bottom you feel like your whole life is just crumbled and falling apart give it some time because there's going to be a balanced reaction if that makes sense yeah there's going to be a balanced reaction something positive something really 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 positive is gonna come in your life with time again this i don't it's this could be tomorrow this could be months from now this could be a couple of years from now but with time you guys there will be something or many things that come in that will balance out the shit that will balance out this pain that you're going through there's gonna be something that balances it out and just keep that in mind okay because i am seeing that here with judgment and the sun where you will rise from this and you will be stronger from this and um this is like this is the beginning of your new journey your new life and like you won't even recognize yourself by the time you go through this transformation yeah just crazy because again like look at the fool this is like a little birdie right a little birdie um this is you right now and as the bird grows it's never going to go back to this size it's never going to be the small little innocent bird again like again for some it's like you won't be you're not going to be the same person you used to be after this this heartbreak after this loss like there really is no turning back from this and like this seems like it's a massive turning point for you on your soul journey and Whew, like it's this is like really pushing you to your limits it's really pushing you to fucking trust and man oh man is it hard but again i'm telling you this is on the other side so keep pushing keep moving forward i'm sorry i didn't give you the the full clarity it doesn't seem like you're getting it it doesn't seem like you get the truth. It doesn't seem like you're kind of, at least as of right now, with the energy right now, in the month of June, right? Shape can change. Um, maybe your next reading, we might get new insight, new information. But as of right now, in this reading, there is no new information that you're gaining from this. But you are becoming stronger. You are healing from this. And it shows that you will move on from this and be happier in the long term in the end you will be happy there will be a happy ending i was saying that in aquarius's read okay so yeah just seems like that's the message that i need to come through for you for this month um this resonated or this was helpful for you please let me know in the comments below if you want to book a private reading with me the information for that's in the description and i'm gonna let you guys go Take it easy, take care of yourselves. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in the next one.